Hi, my name is Todd. And I'm Beth. And we're here today to show you how easy it is to set up a neural node to a neural node trilogy device. Let's get our device up. All right, Beth. Here we have our Nerdo Trilogy. We've already uh, assumed basically that Beth is a iGaze user set up and uh, calibrated and ready to go. So today we're basically just going to focus on getting her Neuro Node to use with the iGaze. Are you ready, Beth? I'm ready. Let's All right, let's do this. Um, the first thing we're going to do is figure out uh, the right placement to put the Neuro Node on Beth. A common place for people is on their uh, wrist. But and it's not the only place you can put the Neuro Node. That's right, we can actually use any type of muscle movement. We can use big muscle movements, we can use very small muscle movements, but really measuring the intent of that muscle movement. So uh, let's uh, lay our hand flat, and let's just do a finger inflection. If you'll notice, when we do a finger inflection, you actually can visually see where that muscle is moving. That's basically where we want to place the neuron node. So Beth, where did you have the best movement? Looks like right here on the side of my wrist. All right, so I'm gonna grab the neuron node. I'm gonna make for sure that the neuron node is facing Beth. There's two indentions there, and we're going to make sure those kind of line up to where we saw that movement on that wrist. The great part about the neuro node is that it just attaches with this Velcro band, so if you need to make adjustments, it's super easy. How's that feel, Beth? Feels great. All right, so let's just put our hand at rest, and let's just see if we can get a signal. To do that, we're going to go to the neuro node trilogy device. We're going to hit a play button, and you actually see three lines. The blue line is going to be her actually making a switch. The amber line is going to be her uh, at rest, and we have to go her signal above the green to actually make that switch. So we can see she's at rest, clearly, because the blue line is below the amber line. Let's actually try to make a switch. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Perfect. Hey, look at that. Do you hear the beat? The beat means that Beth made a switch. And on the graph, we can see that because her blue line is going above the green line to show us that, and then back down to rest. Let's show them a few more times. Beth, you were successful in making a switch, but what if you weren't successful? What are some changes that we could make really quick to help you be successful? Um, first, before we do that, let's just show someone what an unsuccessful would look like. So let's do a few here and uh, let's not make a switch. Are you ready? Great. You can see here two or three lines where Beth was over the red, but not over the green, which means she was not successful in making a switch. We need to bring that green line lower so that way it will achieve that. And to do that, we'll go into the settings. We're gonna scroll down to scaling mode and we're gonna come all the way to the signal on indicator, which is in green, which is helpful because that was the color of the line that we need to move down. So by hitting the negative means that we will lower that line. We're gonna to try to get it about half that distance where we were. We're gonna say, okay, and when it clocks back, you'll see the line is dramatically lower. So, Beth, let's try again to see if you can hit a switch. Awesome! So, she actually was able to go above. We heard the audible tone. Let's see if we can get two in a row. You're a rock star. Perfect. So, Beth's actually ready to go. So, I actually can create a uh, profile for her by hitting save. Typing her name so I can remember that this is the best settings for Beth. We could have made changes if we needed to. Perfect, so now we're actually ready to go into the speech software. Let's go into grid three. Once we're in grid three, we're gonna actually select the Control Bionics Trilogy user. That's meaning that Beth's gonna be using both her eyes and her switch. We're gonna go into the Super Core 30 pages, and I'm gonna ask Beth, hey Beth, how are you feeling today? Hi. Happy. Happy. Great, I'm happy too. So uh, what about, let's try something else. Can you hit the clear button and go back home? What do you want for lunch? I want takeout. I want takeout. You heard her. She wants some takeout. Hopefully you can see how easy this was. We basically got her set up and uh, talking. And now we're going to go get some lunch. Hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.